besides the um what was his name the 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 Garner case besides that I really haven't seen any justice done and they're out here people's kids they're out here unaliving people's kids and I do fear that people have had enough enough is enough and this is all that's left when justice is taken off the table I'm not saying he's right but I get it it pops eight he said an eye for an eye and he stood on business. I'm just surprised this hasn't happened more often. Oh my God, RP to these innocent children. They should make this a movie. My husband and I had the same conversation. I stand behind him. I can't say what you will or what you should and should not do for your child. I can't tell you what I'm gonna do for my kids, but I'm gonna I'm I'm go to war for mine. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash hookah anonymous underscore. You guys have been telling us to create one for the longest, so we recently created a community where we will upload videos that we can't share on YouTube due to their guidelines, but we'll also be dropping the latest to their first behind the scenes information that you wouldn't find anywhere else on our socials. So make sure you become a member, and after you do that, head over to our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore and follow us there. Now without further ado, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, they say these days, the name Douglas Barnes is just another fancy way of saying revenge. Because a story that has been going viral all over social media is being reported that Douglas Barnes' son was shot and unallowed by a police officer in Michigan, so Mr. Barnes took matters into his own hands and got to get back on that same officer's daughter. The story goes that Douglas Barnes would be arrested after shooting a 17-year-old girl as she was attending high school prom with an AK-47 assault rifle. The 17-year-old girl happened to be the daughter of the same sergeant that took the life of Bond's son during a traffic stop. Now, although this story went viral, reports would actually come out stating that this was a fake story. So the whole time while it was blowing up all over TikTok and Twitter, it would be debunked by Livonia police saying that the whole story was AI generated. Now, in the world we live in today, I think it's a must we stay vigilant because with AI technology running rampant, we don't know what and what not to believe. The term used to be, believe what you see and not what you hear, but these days you can't even believe what you see neither. Interesting enough, although the story was deemed fake, it brought up an interesting topic of discussion because although it sounded like a heinous act, you had people that agreed with Douglas Barnes' action. So even though it was a fake story, it brought out the real in some people, and I actually would like to know what you guys' opinion is on the story. On top of that, I think this has taught us a serious lesson when it comes to AI and what we choose to believe on social media. Because all it took was a little virality for people to believe this story and suddenly it became news all over the world. So we're going to get into the story, but before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm. And if you aren't subscribed to the platform already, make sure you do so now. Let's get into it. This is truly a story of grief taking hold of you. A viral TikTok story about a 45-year-old man by the name of Douglas Barnes shocked the world as it was a chilling story. It says that back in 2020, a 19-year-old by the name of Gino Barnes was pulled over by Livonia police in Michigan due to having expired tags on his car. As the team would reach into his glove box to get his insurance card as asked by the officer, he was shot and unallowed by the officer by the name of Mike McCaffrey. The case was taken to trial and the officer was acquitted of any charges, which left the father of Gino Barnes in outrage. Fast forward to May 2024, Mike McCaffrey's daughter was set to go to prom festivities that was held by her school. When she would get out of her limousine to attend the prom, 45-year-old Douglas Barnes was waiting for her and proceeded to shoot and unalive her as she stepped out the vehicle. Douglas used an AK-47 assault rifle and stayed on the scene until the police came and can be heard screaming an eye for an eye, which indicates that he committed the crime 
based off his son's life being taken by that same officer just four years ago in 2020. So he was just getting get back. Reports say that Douglas was able to find out the daughter's whereabouts after he would find the officer's social media and he was made aware of the 17-year-old's prom in which he tracked her down and then he committed the crime. Douglas was quickly arrested and his mugshot would go viral, leaving TikTokers to cover the story and allow people to share their personal opinions. You had one person that replied to a TikToker covering the fake story and they would say, quote, well, like he said, an eye for an eye. Maybe that's what needs to happen if they'll stop shooting unarmed black men. Now, the sad part of it all is that majority of people didn't even know it was fake until recently. It's not real, y'all. It's not real. Please, let's use discernment. Do a little digging into a story before you post it online as fact. If you haven't already seen it, probably within the next day or so, you're going to see a story all over your timeline talking about Douglas Barnes, who supposedly took revenge on a cop's daughter at her prom. With this salacious headline saying, Revenge unaliving at prom, a man avenges his son's unaliving by unaliving the cop's daughter. Then you'll probably see this, an eye for an eye, talking about what happened and then what subsequently happened allegedly at this girl's prom. But here's the thing, it's fake. It's an AI generated news story. There's only one source that's publishing this story and it's Dax News. Don't you think that had this really happened, it would be all over the news and you could find more than one source? And I know everybody that posted that story could all probably understand on some level at wanting to get that type of eye for an eye revenge. So maybe they didn't do their due diligence in looking up and verifying that that story was correct. According to Forbes.com, there was a couple red flags that should have been watched out for that automatically told us that this story was in fact false. According to Forbes, a search of the Livonia School District website did not show Livonia High School existed, and the school district told Forbes there wasn't a record of a school by that name within the district. Forbes will also point out that a reverse image search of Douglas Barnes' mugshot that was included in the video, and the only results were of other social media posts sharing a fake story, which may indicate the picture is an AI-generated image. They will also point out that the original account that has since been deleted called Jack's News already posted fake similar news stories with what appears to be AI generated images, including a video alleging Pastor T.D. Jake's home and church was raided by Homeland Security. Not only that, but the Livonia Police Department themselves have came out and said that the story is in fact fake and isn't real. And not only is that story isn't real, but the story about the son being unalived in 2020 is also not real. Not to mention, when you hear that Douglas Barnes found the officer's Facebook or Instagram and that's how he was able to trace his daughter, that should have been a red flag off the rip. I don't know too many police officers where you're going to find their Instagram pages or Facebook and they're going to have such personal information up there like that. They're really going to have what they're doing or their whereabouts or where they're going because they know the type of climate they're in and how dangerous that can be to their job of being a police officer. So it's stories like that that can stir up a lot of emotions and cause people to actually crash out based on their comprehension of the story and not know whether it's true or false. But if they see uh, Instagram or TikTok that they deem is credible saying that this happened, um, who knows what they may do. They may feel like they're being patriotic, rebelling against the system, may want to take matters into their own hands and do something to law enforcement, whatever they choose to do. But at the end of the day, it's literally fake. And like I said before, it's crazy how something so false can go so viral so easily and people believe it without doing any real research or caring to even know what's really going on. Just goes to show how easy it is to sway a narrative, no matter how real or fake it may be. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this situation. And if you heard of the story, did it fool you at first as well? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.